Time was 10 p.m. and I have been here since I was two. I'm 24 now. The place, a void behind my old wooden fireplace. Mama and Dada had soon given up the search, and the town folk assumed I'd been kidnapped. I hadn't. If I kept really quiet and refused my thoughts of the righteous reason for being, I can sometimes hear my mama crying my name. 22 years on, I probably still looked like a wee one, but my thoughts have matured. I haven't died, at least I don't smell like it, but I am stuck somewhere between life and death. There appears to be no reason for this void except a place never to be found, like the best game of hide and seek, also the longest for that matter. I have since reasoned it to be a place designed by the demon himself, to cause agonising torture for myself and that of my parents. I no longer feel torture or torment, 22 years is a long time. I don't eat, not that I need to. As I said, I'm stuck in the middle. Dada had hit the bottle since I left, that old boy and his new baby. Dada suggested they sold the house, but that was Mum's new baby, the memories it held. With my parents growing old in sorrow, I watch on. That is my pain. Not this black hole, but their loss of me. So they say